Welcome to Virtualize Every and another pie hole video. To be honest with you, I didn't plan on making this video, but I had a viewer ask for it and I was in the process of setting up some stuff to use PyHole, so I thought it would be a great and convenient time. Now, I personally haven't used PyHole for a few years. I've recently gotten back into it with recreating a new video, and I wanted some information that PyHole could easily provide to me with logging on a particular VLAN on my network, so I chose to use it. But to find block lists here, I simply go open a new tab and I use DuckDuckGo as my default. So, and then I search for Pi, Pi Hole block lists. And then I'll go down through and kind of view, I think this first one, like, and I just look. I can look through them. I'll read about them. I usually like things that are hosted on GitHub. I've had pretty good luck with some of the fire the fire blog lists in the past when I was using Pyhole Heavy. And in a second here, when I'm done looking, I will uh, open one of these and we'll take a look at what we're actually looking for. So this is the one that I most recently set up. And if we click open list here on the crypto original, what you're gonna see is the first half of these start with an IP address and then the other half. Pi-hole doesn't like that type of list in my experience. What it does like, however, is the type of list that's called no IP here. And you can see that there's actually no IP to start. It's the same information, but it doesn't have an IP address. So we're going to go ahead and use one of these lists. And I'm actually going to use the, the crypto list. So I'll right click on it and then I'm going to copy the link. That's going to give me the URL to this particular list. And then we can go to PyHole and we can go to add lists. I'm leaving my default list here and I'm going to paste in this crypto block list. I can call, I can give it a description so I know later. So something like crypto and then I'll press add with this crypto list added in here. What I can do now is go ahead and update the repository. So if we go into dashboard, we'll see that we have 162,080 domains that are blocked. And when we go in to tools and update gravity and click update, it's going to run through. It's going to gather everything here. You can see some exceptions that it pulled in from actually the Steve's list and it talking about the IP here. And then you can see the crypto list we added and that it pulled in 23,761 more domains. So if we come back to dashboard, you can see we're now at 185,191 domains block. I hope you enjoyed this nice, simple, short video on how to add block lists and how I find block lists for a pie hole. And you have a good night.